Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Journey Down Chapter 1. I'm the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric and in the last episode we were, we started out trying to assemble parts for our airplane. We already have assembled random shit basically. Shirt, wrench, net, brush, chili. We've explored the plane itself, we have explored our home or our charter business area I guess. And we've been down by the dock, by the refueling station, and we've been down by the diner. I would like to go into the diner, but Rufus is blocking the way. And Mitoke is scared of rats. And rats like cheese, and he's got a... A little... a little thingy. A little thingy right around the corner. Ooh, I can double click, cool. The... This way... wait, I don't know. There. Yeah, perfect. You're hiding out, but you know? How about this? How about one of these? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> if this works, it'll scare the bananas out of my talkie. He hates rats! Bloop! Funny business. Let's see if the rat catches the bait. Oh boy. It actually worked. I can't wait to see Matoki's reaction when he reels in a big juicy rat. Err. Uh, can I just pick up the rat? I would like to just pick it up. <laughs> this is going to scare Matoki like crazy when he reels it in. Can I honk the thing? Nah. Let's just go over. Talk to Matoki. You know, sorry, I was up to funny business here, but uh, how about you reel that in? How about you reel that in, though, bud? Hey, man, check your hook. Hey, I think you're right. I've got something on the line. Oh, oh no, it's a rat. Oh, Buana, could you please unratify my pole for me? I have a slight problem with rats. Sure, man. No problem. I'll get it back to you nice and pest free. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice! Finally, the pole is mine! All mine! Oops! The rat ran off with the hook! What do you mean the rat ran off with the hook? Hey, Matoki, can I grab. Also, I'd love to share, but if she can. There's. You're gonna. You're hanging in there okay without your rod, man? I'll survive a couple of minutes without it, I think. So where'd the rat go? To Rufus. Hey puppy. Yikes! That silly old dog's always blocking that door. Why don't I just go through? I wonder. I don't want to pick at it. Hmm, I wonder where the rat went. Did it go back? That would not make any sense. I could try and catch something, but I don't have, I don't That's have a... Idea, man. But I don't think it'll work without a hook on the rod. Alright. So we're done in this area, as far as I can tell. What I'm not done with is the ship that's supposed to be anchored here somewhere as well. Charter sign. It says, Kaunandodo's gas and charter. It's named after me old man Kaunandodo. Unlike himself. The name stuck around. There's a way to go back there. Graffiti. It's graffiti. Somebody's written. People, open your eyes. Sometimes opening your eyes is quite good. This is the South Kingsport tram stop. This is where all the real cool cats get off. Nah. That's the Armando Railway Authority logo. It's a card terminal for the elevator to the tram stop. Without an ARA or a maintenance card, I'm not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. That's the elevator to the railway station. It won't open without an Armando railway card. 
Unfortunately, I do not think I have an Armando Railway card. Hey, I found free stuff. It's called garbage. It's shaped just like a hook. What? That's nice. Fishing rod, good. Shaped just like a hook. Let's go fish. Catch something, please. Hey, I got a muddy ugly. That was fast. Ooh. There's something special about sticking a cold, wet fish in your pocket. Did you just actually say that? One soggy wet fish in my pants is enough, man. No, some for once I'll give you I'll give you I'll give you that. So what happens if I give that mud yuggler to the dog? What happens? He likes fish? Rufus eats fish all day. I'm not giving him mine. I bet I can scare him away with something though. That would be a lot more fun. How about scaring him away with a brush? I'm not with How about scaring him away sure, I could pay, but I have with all this? Oh man, I don't know. That won't help. How about I give the fish to Mama and Kena? Alright, let's go off. If I don't know what to do here, I'm just gonna continue onwards. There was a way to go back here after all. Boy. I can't reach it from here, man. Boy. Mrs. M. M. S. Carollo. Okay, that's where I want to be. Say, are you the new deckhand? Yes. You ought to know to report in with me before boarding. That's me, man. The new deckhand. Good. Let's hear the password. Password? Hmm. Gee, I'm afraid I've forgotten. Gee, I'm afraid I've forgotten it. Nice try, lad. Come back when you remember, and I'll let you aboard. Unfortunate. Poor again, sailor. It's boarding time for this deckhand. If you're a deckhand, I'll need the password. I want to join your crew. Oh, sorry, son. I know what it's like when that sail and bone goes a tingling, but it ain't that easy. Roster's full, I'm afraid. What I gotta do to get on board then? Nobody's going board except the crew. And all the crew knows the password by heart. Come on, just whisper it in me ear, man. No one will notice. Nah. Tis a sailor's secret and nothing for a land crab as yourself. All right, you fear. Hey, may the four winds fill your sail. So I can't enter yet, Miss Corolo. That there's the MS Corolo. She's a cargo vessel. I shouldn't call her Miss Corolo. I should I should call her MS Corolo. Oi, you're a pelican. Box. I love boxes. It's full of salt. I'm not lugging salt around for no apparent reason. Why not? But uh, what about salted that fish? Help. How about giving the fish to a pelican? What? Hey, buddy. What? What? Sort of feels like a waste, doesn't it? Man, that's one scary bird. Oh, there's something sparkly shining in that nest. God damn it, I should have put I should have put chili on that fish. I didn't know. Let's grab a new one. Fish, fish, I'm so glad you can double click. I am so glad you can double click click to um go across the screens. One more fish for moi. Hey, I got a muddy ugly. 
Nice. Ooh. There's something special about sticking a cold, wet fish in your pocket. I don't want to know where you stick your cold, wet fish. I just want to combine chili with mud yogurt. I'm not so sure Makina would approve of my cooking, but okay. Hmm. I bet it's a lot tastier now. Hey, there's still some left. Might come in handy. Nice. I still have chili. Good. Very convenient, in fact. How about Pelican with chili in his mouth? How's that work? You like this? I bet you don't, but see this. This ought to be interesting. Let's see how Birdie likes some spice. <laughs> I don't think a Pelican has a tongue like that. Bump. Uh, that's not really what I thought was going to happen. Let's take oh, that with sweet me. Man. It's peacefully asleep. Uh, let's take it oh, with us. Sweet. Oh man, I want to have it. I want to. I need a pelican let's in my life. Why not? I want to mess with Mr. Sleepy let's though. Not mess with Mr. Sleepy. Okay, what do we do about oh, that? There's something sparkly shining in that nest. What is that? Can I get it down? That won't help. Fishing pole. It's perfect. It won't work, man. Why not? You're not particularly creative. Oh, these container signs sure provide some fun reading. Hanjin Wa Shipping Company Ltd. HJ WCU 82819888. Max gross 38,400 kilograms. Ta 2,240 kilograms. Payload 28,240 kilograms. Cube 33.1 CBM. That is fun reading, all right. It's rusted stuck. I can't so much as nudge it with my bare hands. That's why we've got a wrench. Maybe this will do the trick. Bonk. Oh, Hello, God. Man. How sweet, man. It's peacefully asleep. No, you knocked a friggin' I don't care. Hey, there's a metal rod in here. I'll take it. I'm sure Mr. Sleepy Bird won't mind. I think I'll keep it lowered. Why? How Look at the poor sweet, pelican. Man. It's peacefully asleep. It's not asleep. You man, you broke his neck. Wow. That scrawny old forklift hasn't worked in years. Why not? I wonder. I wonder. So we've got a metal rod. And this is the end of the line. Unfortunate. What am I going to do with the metal rod? Well, can I uh, reach the... Can I reach the fan with any of this stuff? Fishing rod. Man, I wonder where I get all these stupid ideas. Yeah. What the fuck? What the actual hell? What? Hey, it worked. Oh man, it must have snapped when I landed. I guess we're gonna have to find some way to put it back together. Um, well, white paint is basically like, like, uh, like glue. That won't help. Chili? Won't work, man. The metal rod? Don't think that'll do any good, man. Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that that mug. Okay, let's leave again. That part worked. Let's actually talk to uh, Lena. Hey, lady. Please, you can call me Lena. How come you in such a hurry, lady? How come you in such a hurry, lady? Well, I just talked to my professor over at the university. And let's just say he's made some enemies in the academic world recently that have made us a bit... nervous. Enemies? What kind of a professor is he? You haven't heard of Professor Steeplegenger Moorhead? 
Let me enlighten you. When I first started working for him, I was just as convinced as anyone else that he had a screw loose. What? He's nuts? Not exactly. You see, Moorhead was once a highly recognized scientist. A real big name in geology. But ever since he started lecturing about conspiracies and cover-ups, he completely lost all the credibility he had built up over the years. The only reason the university keeps him on the payroll is because there would be an outrage in the educated world if he was given the boot. Whether he's nuts or not, he deserves the position. Anyhow, having worked with him for a while, I started realizing that whether he was crazy or not, much of the research he set me on came up blank. Blank? Why? Not sure. I started getting really suspicious. Someone had been erasing their tracks very thoroughly. Whole records have disappeared from the libraries. Old newspaper prints have been removed. Even old family photo albums I've looked up have been obviously edited and smeared. And no one except Moorhead is questioning this. The only lead I've found so far that hasn't been removed is this book of yours. I need to hide and make sense of it before this too is erased. That is why we are in a hurry to get the airplane going. How did you know to search for the book here? The professor received a letter about the book and he sent me to go look it up. I just figured it was sent by whoever lived here. So who's covering everything up? Well, many signs point toward Armando Electric. And the more I'm looking into it, it seems like the government is in on it as well. The government? Sure. Do you realize how many new laws have come into existence the last couple of years regarding the Underland? Obviously, someone wants to keep the people in the dark regarding what is really going on down there. What do you think they're hiding? I'm not sure. You remember how, when our generation were kids, we used to hear stories about the amazing Underland? Sure. My dad used to read us stories about it all the time. Same here. Now compare that to what it's like now. Ever since the Power Co. started their operations in the Underland, the stories have all twisted. Now all we hear about the Underland is how dangerous it is. And how incredibly illegal it is to so much as glance over the edge. Well, it probably is dangerous. <laughs> you do realize those were just children's tales, right? Probably just written to protect us from the scariest stuff. Believe what you wish. What is fact and what is fiction isn't really relevant since both of them are being erased. Either way you look at it, something very fishy is going on, and I'm sure this book will shed some light on things. You're so sure, huh? Tell me about the professor. Professor Moorhead? Sure, he's a real nutcase according to most people. But I've started believing in his crazy conspiracy theories. Or maybe not so much believe in them as at least realize that there's something in them worth looking up. I'm his assistant at the Agibo University in St. Armando, by the way, if I didn't make that clear. Assistant professor, okay. So what was this cover-up all about? I don't really know. All I know is that someone is hiding something very, very well, and the professor and me are hell-bent on finding out what is being covered up. We think it has something to do with the power company's recent projects in the Underland, but we aren't sure. So what was this cover-up all about? I don't really know. All I know is that someone is... All right, oh, I'm sorry, I pu pushed I'll that twice. See you later, lady. Happy hunting. Happy hunting. Fair. Metal rod. Does that go in the hole? Rod goes it in the fits hole. Perfectly. Fits perfectly. Buona, are you sure you know what you're doing? Hey, I know my avionications. It's gonna work like crazy. I swear. It's not gonna work like... Uh, let's just move on. Let us move on. Where are we going? I guess we are... Well, the metal rod, now that I think about it, since I just put that in there, I don't think it'll work against Mr. Doggy. You can have your, your thing back. Wait, what happens if I push, if I fishing rod Rufus? I'm not wasting my cool okay stuff on Rufus. Rod, I'll survive a couple of minutes without it, I think. I found a bug! You can have multiple dialogues going on at the same time. That's not exactly how that's meant to happen. What can I do with that pipe? That won't help. What can I do with that pipe, though? Won't work, man. 
I don't know. How do I get in there? Dog. We're supposed to scare the dog. I haven't done the power box thing Here, yet. Power now. Let's not pick at it. Okay, can't. Let's talk to the, to the sailors. Ask for the password. Hey, sailors. Hey, kid. I'm the new deckhand on the ship. But... I forgot the password. Sorry, kid. I ain't falling for that one. You're no sailor. You ain't got the right clothes. Look at us. Proper sailor's clothes on us. Proper sailor's is clothes. Not gonna disturb your soup. No worries, kid. So now we have a reason for this. Hey, now it looks just like one of those nerdy sailor suits. Now, equip it. Nope, doesn't work. Hey, sailors. Hey, kid. I'm the new deckhand on the ship. But I forgot the password. Sorry, kid. I ain't falling for that one. You're no sailor. You ain't got the right clothes. Look at us. Proper sailor's clothes on us. What happens though? Not gonna disturb you what happens worries, though kid. if I use these clothes on you? What you think about this man? So you are the new deckhand after all. I sure am. Well, I'm glad to be of help, sailor. The password to get on board is fear the hungries. I know what it's like to forget the password. Has happened to me and me mate more than once, I can tell you. Good thing you'll have shipmates who can fill you in when you're on the fluff. Good thing, man. See you, uh, on board. Why did you stutter? I wonder. Maybe because he's not a real sailor. Do I still have the brush? I still have the brush and it's still colored. And I still have the clothes, too. You. Well, again, sailor, it's boarding time for this deckhand. If you're a deckhand, I'll need the password. Fear the hungries. I finally remember the password. Okay, let's hear it, lad. Fear the hungries. I knew you had it in you, son. Could see it in your eye, I could. <laughs> Got the spirit of an adventure and sailor you have. Welcome aboard, lad. Oh, and let me see your sailor's outfit. Yeah, man. Oh, boy. This needs some fixing up, I fear. I'll see what I can do with it. Meanwhile, here's a mop to get you started. I love mopping. Actually, no reason to keep the deck on wash simply because it isn't being used. Gee, thanks. You know anything about the underland? The underland? Kid, you gotta be careful even mentioning its name. Ooh. Ask too many questions and you disappear. Come on, man. What's the big deal? Why is everyone so afraid of the underland? I wouldn't know, son. Our ship never goes further down than Port Artu. And the things you find down there are creepy enough as it is. All right. Before we continue, before we continue having this conversation, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope I will see you in the next one as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.